In Blythewood tonight, town leaders are looking to make the community park safer. This after an incident on the 4th of July caused a bit of panic there. Our Josie Frost spoke to the Blythewood mayor about the new measures taking place. Doko Meadows Park is mostly empty today, but people who visit often say it's not always like that. Scarlett is a mom of two, and she often brings her kids to the park. On days like this, she says it's peaceful, but holidays can get crowded. It would be nice um, to have more security personnel for big events like that. Events like the one that happened here on 4th of July. Officials say someone in the crowd discharged a water or paintball type gun. They say no one was hurt, but the sound caused panic among residents at the event. Now they say it's time to make events like that at the park safer. The incident caused many parents to turn to Facebook to address their concerns. In addition to more security, the town plans to institute a clear bag policy and install new perimeter fencing around the park. They'll also be restricting the playground area to kids only, and people under 18 will now be accompanied by an adult to events. Blythewood Mayor Sloan Griffin says the new measures are needed as events become more and more crowded. These measures will be put in place moving forward because we are seeing an uh, unprecedented amount of attendees. Um, so if folks were out there in the past, the past, like I said, seven to 8,000 people attending, uh, now you got over 14,000 people attending. Mayor Griffin says he plans to go to the city council to ask for the money for the perimeter fencing and that events would cost more in the future to pay for the increased security. There should be no amount of money that we argue over that's more important than the safety of our citizens and visitors in our part. We went through this, we can come out on the other side even better. But know that we are here and we're taking safety and security at our highest priority. For park goers like Scarlett, they say they'll continue to enjoy the park with the rest of the community. So I just love coming out here. It's a beautiful place and we're very fortunate to have this in our community. Yeah. Josie Frost, News 19, WLTX. And we're being told tonight the mayor plans to have the changes in place by the next Doco Park event. According to Richland deputies tonight, the juvenile responsible for the disruption at the park was charged with aggravated breach of peace.